hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Janet, and i am about to travel to hong kong the train from mainland to hong kong is officially running again and i cannot wait to be one of the first few people to test that out because it hasn't been running since the beginning of the pandemic in 2020 and today is the official opening day of the train from mainland to china i've never i've personally never taken the train from mainland to china because i never got to travel across the border ever since i moved here so today is going to be the day where i'm going to show you guys how to travel to hong kong from mainland china and all the requirements that you need to know about i'm your girl i'm your plug because I forgot to take a COVID test before I left my city. You can always take the subway because it's much cheaper than taking a car. So right now I'm taking a car to the hospital. Once I get my COVID test, I can head over to the train station where I'm going to catch the train to Hong Kong. now at the railway station as you can see um, I've already bought my ticket online and so can you if you want to save yourself some time buy the train ticket online either on trip.com or an app called 12306 where you can book a train to anywhere in China so I booked mine already in advance but if you can't if you're struggling to book online which I don't think you will if you use trip.com you can always get here at the railway station and buy your ticket here but it's always safe to just buy in advance because you know there's too many people in china and tickets run out all the damn time take off master please it's okay thank you so right now i am going to just relax i'm an hour early which is good but i know for a fact that I might get stuck somewhere I have um, because I only took the test because I only took a COVID test late uh, and I don't know what time the results are going to be available I got myself antigen tests like home test kits I read online that they do allow antigen tests um, when you cross over to Hong Kong so if my results are not out by the time I get to customs I'm probably gonna have to just take this test in front of them um, for now I'm just gonna take a nap I guess I'm tired I need to take a nap As soon as you exit the train and leave the platform, 
you have to scan a QR code and fill in a health declaration form. Uh, no, guys, you see, this is a lot of work. My strategy didn't work, so here am I sitting here with everybody else who's still waiting for their results to come out. These people over here, they're also waiting. They took their test this morning, just like me, and now we're all gonna sit here and wait for our results to be available so that we can cross the damn border. For now, we just sit and wait. It is two hours later and I just got my results. So it is now four o'clock and I'm finally going to Hong Kong. Well, I'm already in Hong Kong, but like I haven't seen Hong Kong because I've just been stuck in this building. So now I'm gonna leave this building and get to see Hong Kong, let's go. That was me thinking that mainland Alipay and WeChat Pay work in Hong Kong. If you have a solution to switch from mainland Alipay or WeChat Pay to Hong Kong Alipay or WeChat Pay, please do comment down below and let's just help each other out. I had to resort to withdrawing and paying cash at the counter. Personally, I would advise you to link the Hong Kong Transit card to your Apple Pay before you go to Hong Kong. This octopus card comes in very handy because not only can you use it for transiting, but also to make purchases in some restaurants, 7-Eleven stores and vending machines. I got a SIM card at um, 7-Eleven, you guys, and it was only $33, Hong Kong dollars that is. So it's valid for 180 days and uh, it has 50 gigs of data. So there's your plug. Don't say I never plugged you.